I'll keep this short. It's just an <laughs> uh, update about what's going on with the BPF program pack. Um, so, <coughs> so the the big picture is like we, we have a lot of BPF programs. They're small. We load them, unload them all the time. So we want to make a way to have them share a huge page so we don't have to exercise the exercise page allocation. And there's a big reason behind that is if we have vmalloc some page and we set the memory to be not a regular read-write because we just set it to be uh, executable, it's caused the fragmentations of the direct map and over time it will make the system slower and slower. And also like if we have shared a huge page, we'll get a few, uh, less uh, pressure in the instruction TLB. So where we are, we're at V1. So it's a, we call it BPF program pack. It's a bin pack algorithm just for BPF program. Basically we reserve two megabyte region and use that for small BPF programs. It has a very naive allocator, but works. And it's in upstream since 518 kernel for x86. And there's a patch coming for PowerPC, but uh, I think it's not a, a f ready, but it's close. It's close to be shipped, I think. And so this is what happened in the second half of last year. We have a, we want to make it more generic. We have a, we call it a, it's cutable memory allocator. And they reuse the v, vmap allocator. It's the vmalloc, is whatever behind vmalloc. And we make it can be used with BPF program, BPF trampoline, and can be, used for module tags, only the tags, and F-trace, K-prop, basically you want a small chunk of uh, tags, you can use a chunk of this two megabyte page instead of the whole, uh, get a page of your own and fragment the direct uh, map. Uh, well, this work made the two LWN, but didn't make through reviews. And that, uh, but that turned into V3 is a new module allocator, and the goal is to get a huge page for module uh, tax and data, BPF program, and everything else on the list. But we need to change them one at a time, but this will be the foundation for all of them. We can share the page among all this. As long as you have the same permission, read only, go read only, executable, go executable, and read write, share the page with other read write stuff. So where are we? We have the major, I think uh, to me that's the biggest, the uh, heaviest uh, part is to change the module code to be ready to get a new allocator. This part finally landed to 6.4 RC1 yesterday, pretty much. And the second part is uh, uh, the we have right now with module allocator, basically every, pretty much every architecture have their own variation of module, uh, module alloc. And we, uh, Thomas have suggested a way to unify all those so we, we don't have in the future change one, each of them one at a time. So which is great. And, but that's work, is work in progress. And the third part uh, would be like uh, reuse the uh, vmalloc area allocator from vmalloc and which is similar to V2, I was hoping that won't take too much time. And the part four for BPF, we have BPF trampoline, BPF program to use module alloc instead of BPF program pack. And we will just remove BPF program pack after that. And that's where we are. So any questions? I'm hoping to s submit a patch like within before the next merge window, but we may end up baking it for some time. <laughs> Maybe we cannot make a five, uh, six point five uh, merge window, but I, I do plan to finish the majority of it before the next merge window. Um, 
uh, maybe I'm wrong, does this kind of tie into the, there's this global syscuttle that controls how much memory we end up using for BPF programs? This is not related at all, okay. Okay, thank you very much. I'm super happy that this makes progress. So thank you. Awesome. <laughs> I know it's, it's getting slow. It's slower than I expected. 